Oko Polytechnic is the only federal polytechnic in Orumba local government area of Anambra State and has been a major academic bedrock in the area. Unfortunately, a massive gully erosion is fast threatening structures in the institution as it destroyed the newly commissioned 1.23 kilometer road besides others. For the polytechnic community, nothing can be more urgent owing to the school's proximity to Nanka, where the erosion is said to have emanated from, a reason for this stakeholders' meeting. It has really created a lot of issues and a lot of threats and a lot of damages is, has been done already. As you can see, part of this uh, road has been washed off by the erosion and uh, so many buildings around here are under threat of this erosion. So we are here to really call out to the um, well-meaning Nigerians and um, the government of, at all levels to hear our voices and come to our rescue. The member representing Orumba North State constituency decries the impact of the gully erosion on the entire area. It's either we win this war or the war will win us. But God forbid, this war will be won when all of us put our efforts together. When the federal government will rise to come and help, when World Bank, Ecological Fund Office, other relevant stakeholders will rise and come and help. Because this polytechnic is the pride of our people. The rector and the president of the Students' Union government lace their voices to the issue and call for sensitization in the polytechnic community. There are also surrounding buildings that are at a very high risk of being washed away, if no urgent solution is preferred. You can see the massive building of science lab technology. That of computer engineering is just there. And we have the gigantic buildings for chemical engineering departments, all at our trades. A few meters from here, you can just see our classrooms with thousands of students and other facilities around there. And bet you this thing overnight can just escalate and turn to something else. Apparently, the school management is calling on government and concerned Nigerians to come to their aid and avert the loss of lives and property owing to the crisis. It's teaching time, they say, saves nine.